Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Morning everybody. Uh, so guys, today we again will take a look at the euro currency. Despite that yesterday we have not really significant price action, there are still some moments that worth of our attention here. And that could clear, uh, shed some light on the perspective of the price action in the nearest time. And the situation in the euro stands a bit tricky. So, uh, first of all, recall what we said in our weekly report. There we talked about a bit longer term perspective and currently for the euro currency not everything stands cloudless uh, because economy doesn't show significant signs of the improvement. Risk of the possible tariffs from the United States still exist. And uh, recently in, in our gold uh, analysis we will put some link to uh, article on the Euro on Reuters agency where it's also talked about it that Donald Trump on the Davos forum has given some hint that this story is not ended yet. And while they have completed the first stage of the agreement with the China, they could now turn to the European Union. It's also possible. Overall, this background uh, not really supports right now the idea of the immediate upward acceleration on the euro currency. That we see on the monthly chart, that we see on the weekly, and here, guys, by the way, on the daily, I would like to remind you that actually on the weekly we have this wedge passion. It's potentially uh, it's not really bullish. But still, uh, on this week, probably market should spend the time inside of this wedge. So probably we should not get any breakout here, but we will see. Uh, so currently market stands at the same support area that we have talked about. So this is confluence. And now you can see this is uh, the lower border of the wedge. At the same time, we have the bearer's divergence, these tops. Uh, and uh, potential head and shoulders passion that we talked about. And as you can see also on the dollar index. But, uh, but uh, the tricky moment stands in the shape of this passion because on the euro currency and on the dollar index, it looks a bit different. So I will show you our scenario on the dollar index. And you, see, you could see that it's totally completed. So recall what we said. Initially, we said about the hand shoulders here, if you remember. And uh, last week, we have traded this situation. First, we take the short position with this possible downward can change right back to the bottom. But once market has returned it back up, we said, be prepared for a possible upward acceleration and reaching on the XOP target. That indeed has happened finally. So market has completed the XOP. Now we could say that the neckline has been reached. As a result, on the euro currency, uh, euro currency uh, has not shown this significant downward action, but mostly stands flat while market on the dollar index showing some upward minor upward continuation right to the XOP. This is normal action and we said it, we talked about this as well. Once XOP has been completed, it, it means that currently market could start to form right arm, real right arm, because that is not real right arm because market hasn't quite reached the neckline and that's too small to the right arm. And I suppose that this could be a downward downside reaction. Besides, uh, from the technical point of view, guys, we stand at a very strong resistance. Market has completed XLP, which deserves some pullback by itself. But let's take a look. Market first time entered in the confidence resistance as well. So as your as dollar index stands right now on the confidence resistance and agreement area, which suggests that pullback here probably should happen. That's what we could get on the dollar index. So currently, definitely, on the dollar index, it's not the point for taking new long position. In the parallel analysis to the euro, it means that currently it's not a good point for taking the short position on the euro. And here is why. So take a look on the follow time frame chart. You could see the price section that euro has shown while dollar index 
was climbing to the XOP target. Here we have the minor washing rings of the OP, so our ABCD patient. So while on the euro currency, sorry, on the dollar index market hits the XOP, here on the euro market just shows minor washing rings of the OP lows because we have the AB equals CD patient completed, but hasn't proceeded lower. So potentially, guys, uh, I'm not there to suggest that definitely will be the, this pattern that will t that I will tell you. But for that pattern, this price action is very typical. It, it happens very often, and I'm talking about the double bottom. So uh, since market should start to form right arm on the dollar index, it means here we could see another some kind of the top on the daily chart as well. So other words speaking here, we could get some another more compounded right arm. So it could be another upper reaction here before downward reaction will, will be reestablished. So that's actually what could happen. I'm not sure that's definitely will be. But, but based on the signs that we see here on the dollar index, that really could, could happen. And appearing of the washing rinse here of this OP return at the cup and actually take a look, this was the solid sell-off and following the market mechanics of the normal ABCD pattern. Here with this extension market should continue action to the XOP, but this hasn't happened. This action fizzled. So it means that market is looking in opposite direction. And that makes me think that we could get upper action right back up to the 112 area. So that's actually what could happen on the euro in the nearest time. So definitely, currently, it's not good time for taking any new shorts on the euro. Compulsively, uh, if you take an hourly chart, it means that the scalp traders could think about taking the long position. Because here, market mostly has completed our ABCD XOP. So for some insurance, you could place stop somewhere below this level, 110.70, so 110.60, 110.65. Uh, just care about the spread of your broker. So you probably could use this level for taking the placing of the stop order. Uh, and here you could follow with this reverse minor hand and shoulders patch. So by, by this patch, somewhere the entry point should be somewhere around 1085. So relatively acceptable risk level. And uh, what is more uh, really important here is that guys clarity of the situation so we in, 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 in any moment if market will start dropping lower we, we definitely understand what is going on is that bullish setup is failing so we somehow market still will turn down and start dropping below these lows it will tell us that we are wrong with this suggestion the market probably will collapse uh, so the, the clarity of the situation is also really important and uh, that makes overall situation attractive. So that being said, if you're a scalp trader and you're ready to risk for taking the long position here based on the setup that we have discussed, that's the pattern for you to work with and that's the level to keep an eye on uh, because that will be invalidation point. For a, If you have the bearish view, currently no shorts should be taken at least until market stands above this low. So if market will break this level and start dropping here, that will change situation totally. But currently, especially taking in consideration what we have on the dollar index. So it will be better to, stay, to stand, stand aside on any new shorts. Uh, theoretically, if our suggestion is correct, we should wait an area around 112. Or, oh, sorry, even, even greater probably. Right, so it will be somewhere, yes, 112 area. So in this case, and, and higher for taking the short position, because that's probably uh, where the potentially right top, top of the right arm could be formed. So this is preliminary estimation, and if it will be realized, if this scenario will be completed, we will see definitely where to keep an eye on the possible taking the short position. But currently, uh, it's not time yet for taking any new shorts, and let's keep an eye on how market will respond to this setup on the dollar index, and uh, particularly speaking to the situation here with this fake downside breakout and failure attempt to continue move higher, right? Uh, sorry, lower it right to the XOP.